As millions of people scramble to get out of Ukraine and seek refuge in neighboring countries, we are getting reports of Africans being discriminated against at the border. Maybe you've seen the images. Uh, by now, they're all over social media under the hashtag Africans in Ukraine. Even civil rights lawyer Ben Crump tweeting the video out. Reportedly, it shows black and brown people not being allowed to board trains and buses to flee the war zone, being pushed back. Um, and it is, or at least appears to be, because of the color of their skin. Uh, right now, we're working to verify the video here at BNC and the source of it. Meantime, Nigeria's foreign affairs minister tweeted, quote, I am personally coordinating with our missions in Ukraine, Poland, Russia, Romania, and Hungary to ensure we get our citizens out of Ukraine and bring them back to Nigeria, those ready to return, while supporting those who are remaining in Ukraine. So very serious situation there. Um, I, we were surprised, perhaps, not, you know, knowing don't know what you don't know, that there were a number of black people in Ukraine. I speak for, I think, mm. both of us. Neither one of us is surprised that all around the globe, mm. no matter the circumstance, that um, racism exists and persists. Mm -hmm. I would like to know, as we work to confirm those images, Mike, um, who is perpetrating it? Um, are these Ukrainian officials? Are these Ukrainian officials uh, who uh, are? I think these might be Go officials ahead. of the Polish border. I'm not sure. Um, we do have, you know, obviously we had uh, Terrell Starr. We've had him on our show several times. Uh, he is a reporter, I believe, uh, <laughs> over there in Ukraine. So he's joined us to talk about the, uh, the, uh, the black presence that is in Ukraine. There are several black people that are over there uh, in, that, in that country, either working or, you know, uh, students. And uh, so we do know that there is a small presence over there. Uh, but as far as the racism is concerned, uh, when it comes to that, we think it's the Polish government that's stopping them from entering that, that country because it's to the north. Uh, of Ukraine there. Uh, we don't know exactly. Like mm -hmm. I said, we still have to confirm uh, the source of the video. But when it comes to racism, obviously, I think people, we're not going to be shocked about it because racism isn't an American thing. Racism is a global thing. It, it just happens to yeah. be re very prominent in this country because of the mixture of blacks and whites over here. Um, I think if you had the same situation, some, you see that in England sometimes, you see it a lot of soccer games. Uh, you see it, obviously, we had the issues we had in South Africa. So it's a, it's a global issue. So we're not surprised by something like this. It's just sad that when a country is at war and you see that there are usually, there are m m mainly women and children uh, who have trekked over 20 miles just to get to the border to flee war uh, <clears throat> and the damage and, the, and everything that's going on there, they can't get out while their counterparts who don't look like them are able to and that's the only difference in who's getting out and who's not so uh, once this uh, video is verified uh, once again uh, we'll, we'll have more information on this but these are the reports that are coming out of Ukraine and it's uh, once again like it is around the world when it comes to racism just a very yeah, sad um, and, and, and just dumb situation to be honest with you yeah and I guess what I would say and you know I wouldn't put anything past Poland or, or any other country around the world but our our screen says Ukrainians, that's the report, are blocking Africans mm -hmm. from fleeing. And when you see what the Ukrainian deputy chief prosecutor said uh, not long ago, <laughs> that, quote, <laughs> Europeans with blue eyes and blonde hair are being killed daily, that was his tearful acknowledgement mm -hmm. in an interview. And while that may be true, um, it, it's very telling. You know, it's, it, to me, it's a very telling statement blue eyes and blonde hair being killed daily. So, God, that that is an incredible um, uptick in the crisis, if you will. Um, it seems like mm. what he's saying. But, mm -hmm. yes, we need to unpack it as we support Ukraine and send, I don't know how much money it'll end up being between the United States and all the allies, um, the support, the sanctions to bolster uh, this young president and his entire country as they are being illegally invaded and attacked, I do want to know um, what the caste system is like there. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and once again, we got to fight racism 
all around the world, not just in our country. It's just a little bit more important for us here because it hits us directly. It's right in our neighborhoods and right at our back door.